Starting your own business is challenging enough when you have one great idea. We've come to meet an Emirati entrepreneur who's launched not one, but two successful businesses in completely different fields. Just Falafel was my first venture uh, in business, and it started in December 2007. With one store in Hamdan Street, just a, like a test pilot, pilot test uh, store. And uh, we realized it was a huge success for us. That's why we, when we started, we started expanding uh, more stores in, in the UAE and internationally. When we introduced falafels, we didn't go. Uh, we went with the original falafel with tahiniya, but at the same time, we introduced different flavors. So you would have the Indian falafel that ha that has a spicy flavor to it, and you would have the um, Greek falafel. We added some like feta cheese with the sauce to make it more like of a Greek style. Uh, and then we introduced the baked falafel for for the healthy eaters. So you would have your falafel in brown bread, which is baked. I think uh, the main struggles I faced when, open, uh, when I first opened is mainly because I had no background of in, in, in the FMB and understanding the regulations. Regulations in Abu Dhabi are completely different than the regulations in Dubai. Uh, understanding the requirements of the Food Control Authority, to the Civil Defense, to the Abu Dhabi Municipality was a huge struggle for me. Our focus was social media. Uh, we wanted to put money in the business rather than spending on marketing and I think it was a huge success for us. Having your own business, there's always a struggle. There's always daily issues that come up that you unexpected, uh, be it regulations, be it customer, customer issues, be it children, be it staff you have. And tackling every aspect sometimes drains you. And usually what I do is I just disappear for 10 days every year, switch off, and just enjoy my time. Because I only live once, I can't live this rest anymore. And eventually, in 2003, I was able to open Little Haven Nursery in Abu Dhabi. Um, I have around 100 plus kids. Uh, the curriculum is based on the ch child's right. I also give Arabic classes and uh, religion classes for uh, Muslims. So this is our main uh, common play area where children uh, from classes class come play. Our focus is on uh, child-led play. Uh, role playing is also a must for children. So you see the toys we use around here are more role play, uh, role play things and activities where they use their hand to play with items. At the same time, I have a central kitchen that caters for fresh food for children. Uh, parents would choose the, within the menus we have and they know that the child uh, is being given fresh, uh, fresh food every day. I spend on resources because I believe it's it's, it's, the focal, it's, a, it's the main thing of a nursery. Having proper resources for children to understand is really good. At the same time, proper interaction with parents. It took me around two months to be able to be operational in Little Haven Nursery. And when I see children now walk in and, and how developed they become, like I get comments from parents, oh my God, my child has said this, or they've done that. And they, the way that we curve their personalities at the nursery, um, it's so positive hearing back from parents. and. What's so nice now, you see siblings coming in because of the eldest being in the nursery. As for just falafel, it was a roller coaster struggle for me from startup to setting up uh, um, stores, the guidelines, the franchisee agreement. Um, it's so, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy when people travel and send me snapshots of them in stores. Uh, this shows me how, how friends and family support me, um, and it makes me happy. As Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid always says, we're always number one, and we aim to be number one. And uh, me opening just Falafel or JF Street Food, as we rebranded it now internationally, is a proud moment of having an Emirati brand abroad. With good time management skills and a clear business vision, Alia is an example of just how much an entrepreneur can achieve with the right amount of passion and dedication. Sarvigir Ampaya, Gulf News.